Hey, what's up, Devo? How you been? I'm all right. I'm all right. Hanging in there. Good. You got a few minutes to talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know you're up in a camp with uh, Selkuk Aiden. Uh, he's getting ready to face Robert Guerrero later this month. I mean, how has your experience in camp uh, been so far? Oh, my, my experience has been good. It's been great. Uh, it's focused. Uh, we've been fine huh. pretty much every day. Yeah, we've been fine every day except on, on Wednesday. For the first week I got here, uh, we went that week, we went every day. And then the following week, we went every day except Wednesday. And then this week, we went every day except on uh, Wednesday. <laughs> And they they describe him as like a mini Tyson. I mean, how is it like? How are the sparring sessions? How has the work been between you two guys? Well, you know, with me, I competitive. He competitive, and uh, you know, he's trying to live up to his name, which is uh, the mini Tyson. Uh, he's strong. He's a, he's a he's a strong he's a strong guy. Uh, he must come forward. You know, has uh, like Tyson and. Uh, Right, and I know you sparred with Joshua Clotty before his fight with Manny Pacquiao. How would you compare him to, say, like a Joshua Clotty? Is he as strong as Josh Clotty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He as strong as Joshua Clotty. I just feel that maybe Clotty has more polish. Okay. You know, um, this, this guy is, is pretty much a little, he's a little more raw, you know, he just, he just come and he, his, his mindset is just straight, you know, straight knockout, you can tell. Right, and how did you guys, uh, how did you link up with the team Aiden? Like, did they reach out to you? I mean, how did you get brought to camp? Yeah, they reached out to me, um, Bob Bass, contacted, um, Don. You know, and Ty, and Ty contacted me, and then my dad uh, called me, and then, you know, and that's how I linked up, that's how I got the job um, with my dad. Right, and... and, and Great. And, you know, I knew you. I was with you in camp in Florida for a few years. I left maybe three years ago, and I know we... You, you, you're you coming off of a, a victory. You had the victory over um, Crawford. Uh, you stopped him. I mean, is there anything latest fights lined up for you? I mean, what's the latest with your career? Yeah, um, the latest lined up is uh, right now they call they call me over the weekend. I still have the contract once I get back to uh, fight uh, Carlos Molina at a catch weight. Probably like 51 um, on ESPN. Uh, I think I believe it's August, August 10th. I don't know. I believe that's the date. Okay. Now, is that that's the Molina who fought like Arizandi Lara and James Kirkland? Are we talk about the same guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that guy. That. Yeah. What do you think of him as a fighter? I mean, what what do you think about that fight? Well, I think I think those fights that you know he was winning. You know, he got to draw with Lara. You know, he pretty much could uh, argue the fact that he won. Uh, I respect him. He pretty much, you know, um, been in my position. You know, we, we, you know, was coming in as an underdog. You know, he been able to um, turn it around, and you know, now I'm coming in as the underdog for um, for him. You know, but um, I respect, I respect him, and I respect every every fighter man who who steps step in uh, with anybody. You know, it's a hard business, and and to come in there and fight, you know, they. It's a lot of courage. Right. And as far as his style, you know, um, he's like a determined guy. He had that good win over Kermit Cintron. I mean, h- how are you going to try to kind of like uh, exploit him or any weaknesses you might see in him? Well, right now, you know, um, I haven't been able to go back and sit down uh, with John. You know, um, everything was pretty much like over the phone. Once, once I get back over the weekend, I go straight to the gym on Monday. But I know he's a, he's a determined guy. So the main thing, you know, I gotta have going in that fight is, is conditioning. I definitely already see that, but you know, I gotta be in real, real shape. 
And then, you know, he's an awful guy. Yeah, I can see, you know, he's not a big, big puncher, but he gives you different kind of, kind of handles. You know, he's determined to win. And, you know, we just, once I get back with John, we just take it from there. But everything will start off the job. It, it has to start off the job. Great. So everything will on place. So you, you're still working with John David Jackson? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still with John David Jackson, yeah. And then I'm... Yeah, yeah, I'll look. Great. And how would you describe like the Florida, like the gym scene in Florida? Are you still able to get great work down there and everything? Yeah, yeah, we still be able to get um, great work, but it's not as much as work as as you know you'll get somewhere like right here in California or New York, you know, out of Vegas. You know, those 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 are boxing uh, cities. You know, down in Florida. You pretty much, you know, you got only a couple of guys, you know, you got to go to other gyms and they're not, you just walk in the gym and, and like, okay, I could call with whoever today. Nah, it's, it's, we're lacking that in Florida. We, we, we lacking it. We lacking that. All right, Devo. Well, thanks a lot, bro. It's great catching up with you, man. We wish you all the best. All right, bro. All right. All right, Chris. Take care, man. All right, you too. Right. Talk to you.